Right, so better check on Ash. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Oh, a lot of please choices here. One moment, please. Citadel's gotten a lot smaller than I remember. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Do do gonna Welcome swing to by time. here. I'm just gonna buy this now. Collected Alfred Tennyson. All profits from sales go to help new medical research. Oh, okay, that's Be nice. Safe. Oh, look who we have here. Chocwas and Michelle talking to each other. Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chocwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shelter Woods. Really? Coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. Yeah, it was Ash. We had a run-in with the Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How's she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. Well, we did slather a lot of Metagel on her. I mean, Liara said I didn't need to, but... I, I used the whole tub of it. It's been six months, Doctor. How have you been? Good. I've been fortunate. When they impounded Normandy, the Alliance didn't really know what to do with me. I was never officially part of Cerberus, and I'd gotten oh, a was that right? of absence from my previous post. So you hadn't... I should have told them I was never officially part of it either. Yes, though I suppose if you were judged to be a war criminal, I would have been tried as an accessory. Pretty much. Your place is in Normandy's med bay, not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word, and I'm with you. Word. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And thank you. Don't thank me so soon. Remember, Joker is still aboard. <laughs> and I'd be surprised if you've <laughs> been remembering his medication. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hey, Dr. Commander Michelle, Shepherd. still getting in Good trouble? To see you. Dr. Any Krogan I need to scare time. off? You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I'm med physician in a Presidium clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? Of course. How's Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. She hasn't regained consciousness yet, but her vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see her if you like. She's just down the hall. Huh. It's really a shame that robot didn't grab Vega. He would have survived with his thick skull. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. I'm sure as a specter, there's something I can do. How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Recent intel suggests that the entire Batarian hegemony has been destroyed. Patients with non life threatening conditions. Patients stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freilich. Narrow splint's still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required stracial bindings. Meet you back here. It's a lot of techno babble. Ash. Hey. It's Shepard. I should have known you'd pull through. You're stubborn. Always were. It scared me pretty bad back there on Mars. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Despite all this, it's good seeing you again, Ash. Get some rest, okay? 
I'll come by when you're feeling better. We'll talk. You need anything, Doc. Let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. Oh, how sweet. Anyone have any problems they need taken care of? Hi, Doctor. Didn't expect to see you again so soon. Well, we need to prescribe you another round of antibiotics. For when I ship out? I have some bad news. Your squad applied the Metagel correctly, but infection had already set in by the time they found you. I'm sorry. I'm afraid we have to remove your leg below the knee. What? Don't worry, you'll get a cybernetic leg. I'll be twice as strong. I, I don't understand. It doesn't even hurt. Recent intel suggests that the entire Batarian hegemony. Yeah, the entire Batarian hegemony was blown up. That's why they shouldn't even arrest me. I mean, so, the I just blew up one system. And you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes. Can I have a gun? I'm sorry, no. What do you think this is, yeah, Texas? To another hospital, then. Fighting is said to have reached power. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select the destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Hello, Commander Hey, Shepard. Avina. Welcome to Citadel Embassy. I've really been looking forward to talking to the you. The current human ambassador is Dominic Osoba. Commander Bailey is the CSEC officer on duty. You will find him in the Citadel Security District Office. Where's the Spectre Requisitions Office? I need to the requisition Spectre some requisition things. The District Office is down the hallway to your left. Oh, okay. Note that requisition forms are available only to agents whose biometrics are verified and on file. In my day, we didn't even have requisitions. We could just go to the CSEC office Thanks. and spend a Please shitload of credits again, to buy guns. It's really nice of them to give us things now. Please tell the Primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. We had a Prothean Obelisk that might have helped. Oh, Prothean Obelisk. That'll come in handy. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. Right. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit by our exactly. loss. It faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? That's right. Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't Harbinger expect you to finds the conduit. We're play. all screwed. We gotta go to Earth. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. Oh, that's right. A Tell them, Liara. We're still piecing it together. It's a uh, MacGuffin but it to be a or something. Of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So Probably. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hagen. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. And very big. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon oh, do? Oh, I didn't even think incomplete. about that. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. I'm guessing it's just Platinum. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? 
It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. And while I haven't always agreed with Adina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm are sorry, you three Master. serious? That is the best we can do. Shepard, keep me in my office. Why did I save your stupid asses? I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Council. Is that right, air quotes guy? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but... We lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. I told you this would happen, and you did nothing. We can argue the past later, if you like. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war. And you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, <laughs> what does it matter? <laughs> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavin's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There aren't going to be, like, little teddy bear creatures on this moon, are there? There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And I didn't even think that would be an issue. Be available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. The blowing up it's system of Batarians we'll for Spectres. See if we can just something the they do on Tuesdays. Along. Thanks. Oh, I wasn't listening, Udina. Did you say something? The Council. You saved their lives. And for what? Nothing. Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Wonderful. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending a sorry space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Salarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. In Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. Good to know. You're a Citadel Counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. 
You think you can do that? <laughs> you need a character, a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. We just now. need a big ass stick. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Was it a Shepherd mm. VI? I should go. I'll be here. Well, thanks for the talk, Udina. Fully expect to get some free stuff. Welcome. Uh, Quarian Fleet Intel. Pilgrim Gen Valon Narnima on Citadel received large credit transfer from Fleet. Purchased tech, including high end weapon mounts, connect barriers, uh, Ilium, another one, was searching for ship traveling close to the Perseus Vale. Pilgrim was later heard saying Pilgrimage was recalled. That suggests Gorian Fleet is withdrawing its Pilgrims and upgrading ships for combat somewhere near Perseus Vale. Could be a reaction to Reapers. No formal offer of re or request for assistance has come. Intel suggests Gorians may instead be preparing for a conflict with the Geth. Because that's always ended well for them. Uh, I think the only times they've ever won any battles with the Geth. Shepard was involved. No, can't afford anything. I mean, I don't even get one for free. This is worse than the olden days. Two hundred fifty thousand dollars or space dollars. Oh, the firing range completely useless. I'm gonna need to go to Cora's den. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The council's simply not granting interviews oh, at hey. this time. Kalisa, My viewers are going to know that C you look completely and the council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Huh. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander Humanity has questions. Bye bye. Damn press. I see you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. Why is it you're not the executor now? And also, why does CSEC wear, like, Alliance uniforms? If you didn't want to be upped, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Counselor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but... Yeah, I, I would. Here. I've said it a lot. I know Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. And not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. It's because you're crooked. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> If that was a bumper sticker, That's profundity. I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Well, see you later, Bailey. People of the Alliance have questions. Commander Shepard, Kalisa bent seen in Al Jalani. You don't Isn't even look like Kalisa bent seen in Al Jalani. The Reapers attacked. How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? <sighs> I came to get help for Earth, for everyone. Listen, Kalisa, you're really close to getting punched in the gut. What about politics with the Council? What about them? 
How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Khaleesi, I'm going to take this interrupt we're doing and get some war can. assets. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm going to stop the Reapers or die trying. But I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. <laughs> we haven't always seen eye to eye. But I'm glad you're on our side. Finally, some recognition. Recent intel suggests that the entire battalion Look at that war asset. destroyed by an unknown force. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that. <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here? With the elite of the galaxy? <laughs> I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Hope it don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. They're in for a rude awakening. Every species will fall one by one if they don't work with us. No shit. Can't believe it's even up for debate. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're going to have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm going to head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe yeah, we'll do. see. Early reports Mainly need to fill my time with just overhearing various conversations. Please select the destination. But, unfortunately, I think we're done here. One moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay. Oh, one more little person to see. Ma'am, I can't say when we're deploying or where or why. But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it docked. It was last seen on Earth. Did Commander Shepard escape? No. He did, didn't he? So why would he be here unless he's seeing the Council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard! What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. How so? I suppose you wanted an interview. Even better. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about I heard it was actually planets. called Battle Tits somewhere. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? <laughs> Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? I'm still unclear what I'm actually getting out of this. Tell your producers but, yes, for now. Whatever. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One how much button. gear can you bring? Aye aye, Commander. Okay. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades gamma cluster. Okay. First deployment is somewhere near Palavan. Reports say not to depend on comms. I'll leave vid messages then, and you can do the same. Well, they said that due to concerns about signal congestion, we're supposed to avoid sending messages at all. They're trying to keep war data coming through, so every data packet counts. Right. So, how am I supposed to talk with you then? You're not. Sorry. Didn't mean to eavesdrop. Well, we'll head to Normandy in a second. <laughs> 